Welcome to Joe Ka Ka Ka. I'm Jim. And I'm Sam. And today we're talking about Joe Jolian Chapter 82. Yes, uh, e- equal, equivalent exchange and the University Hospital Part Five, right? Well, okay. <laughs> so <laughs> this is funny. Um, the the scanslators, the boys that do it, they wrote Part Five, but in the actual chapter order, the listing is Part Six. So I think <laughs> they just made a, made a mistake. Type bow. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. So it- maybe it is Part Five, and <sighs> the things were translated differently. So okay, just want to address up now. I've been saying Utomaki. Apparently, it's woo, it's woo, woo, and it's always been woo, so I will now f- try and forget that I said ooh. It's, 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 kind, of woo. Ha- it's kind of hard when the, the first ca- translation were all both ooh, yeah. so, or two u's. Which is a hilarious, uh, I, it's hilarious trying to pronounce two, the letter u twice. Yeah, so this is our part eight discussion chapter po- Oh uh, yeah, podcast, sorry. By I, the way, because I'll do. I can take there to make this my gimmick if you want. Please. Uh, yeah, I forgot. We, 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 you know what we do. You know, you know why we're here. No, you're getting yourself into the new Joe Jolian <laughs> chapter comes out. We pre, we do a little blessing to Iraqi. We we do a uh, fifteen hail Jotaros, and then we talk about the chapter and what happened. Yes. So this might be. Um, this, and I saw you sandwich your phone. It's not my phone. Wasn't it's your phone? My freaking Alexa. Alexa. It's dumb. All right. Um. So <laughs> thank you. For think, think there's no character in this everything. name Alexa though. Oh, that'd be awful. <laughs> um. Okay. So, uh, I think this might be one of the shortest chapters time wise that we've uh, seen recently. What is to get the it? amount of time that takes that takes place within the chapter oh. is so incredibly short because <laughs> I feel like it's like ten minutes or so. Not even. Not I'd say even. it's like. Three, because <laughs> uh, we have Mitsuba eating the fruit like really early on, and it's explained how the fruit takes. Oh, that's right. Like, fruit, like... It takes two minutes and thirty-one seconds to activate. Yeah, after you eat like two thirds of it. Yeah, at least yeah, I think she said you have to eat, eat at least two thirds of it. So I thought I think last episode I thought this thing was gonna end. Like I think this, this whole fight was over, but it's not. This I is was the right. End. Okay. Um, I was totally right. Uh, okay. you cannot kill Utom Wu Tomaki. Wu Tomaki <laughs> cannot fail. Uh, except he does fail. At the except end when he does. <laughs> uh, so this was kind of a huge chapter. Yeah, a lot, uh, a lot of big reveals at the end, like in typical end of arc fashion. We'll get to it later, but I was right. Okay, um, I was correct in mo- more ways than one. Well, okay, I knew that the, we we're going to see Utomaki, Utomaki again, uh, and also. It is just confirmed that Holly is main villain. She's not the main villain. Is, Holly is definitely a villain. She is, she she's is, high up there. She is not. Um, I'm not getting that tattoo that I promised all this episode to get. <laughs> she is um, not. You will get it, and everyone will. <laughs> yeah, so fairly early on, Mitsuba takes a huge bite. I, I love this panel of her just, like, very viciously eating. Well, she has to eat two-thirds of it, and if you take a hard fruit... And she also describes the flavor. It's the first time... I was really interested in that, actually. We, where it's like it's not sweet. It's more she bitter. said it. It said it tastes like a fig, and it was bitter. Yeah. I don't know if you've had a fig before. No. Figs are super sweet. I've never. Figs are like it's actually really hard to describe a fig's texture wise because they're really soft, kind of like a peach almost. Hmm. They don't have like the hair that a peach does. I think a fig. I think they kind of look like a pine cone or something like that. They kind of do. Okay. Well, um, great. Sure. They kind of have like that teardrop ish shape. They're not like completely round. Um, they definitely don't look like Joe or Ro Kakakas. <laughs> no. Uh, also, I, I think it's hilarious that they're like a spiky fruit. Yeah. Um, I would love that. It, it reminds me of... Uh, like a durian? Well, that, that but in, um, there was a Dragon Ball Z movie called uh, The Tree of, the Tree of oh, Might, yeah. and it looks oh. like that. Wow, like, it like does. A, like a spiky, yeah, like a spiky little round fruit. Oh my god, I forgot <laughs> all about that. I remember there being like a Goku, well, two Gokus in that Yeah, because no one likes turtles, and he's just a Goku turtles. <laughs> <laughs> he's like turtles. He's turtles. literally a Goku clone. Okay, whatever. He literally is. This isn't sure. our Dragon Ball podcast, but okay. No. <laughs> so, as I predicted, Wu Tomaki... Oh my god. Yeah, Wu Tomaki, I said it right. Yes, he did. Wu Tomaki... Oh, applause. Wu Tomaki has like mastered his stand. Like, he is working at a level which is like insane the amount of control and like dust in the wind planning that he has um where he's able to reform really quickly and he went through they said that he he went through the pipes yeah because there's like sprinkler system in the uh the fruit mm-hmm. oh yeah so what happens yeah we're kind of jumping all over the place well so yeah um mitzvah takes two of these huge heaping bites out of the fruit starts chewing but then there's like that crunchiness of like the rocks, like, yeah, like, like like when he had um in the earlier chapters of like, him in the office, like just crunching down on on like the food. Yeah, and so we find out that 
he's re-enters her body through her mouth quite through, obviously through the fr- yeah when she's eating the fruit uh and he he's controlling her again and it so there's some there are a few things in this chapter that kind of confuse me um i love that he is using her stand yeah so like that is crazy. If you think of the amount of power that this guy has, he can effectively control other people's stands. Um, yeah, the only one... Just I, fucking insane. I was trying to say, remember stuff that could do that was... Do um, you remember Anubis could do that? Could Anubis? Because it, it had your st- image of Star Platinum with the Anubis sword. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, I was, this is no like, secret to, like, listeners. Part 3 is probably my weakest in, like, Jojology. That's what I'm for. <laughs> but, like, yeah, it, it, I think it's, like, one of the few stands I actually can, like, use other people's stands. Yeah, because so. I know that it's all about, like, possessing, at least if I remember correctly. The whole thing is that yeah. the sword, like, possesses... The sword is, so, is, like, more powerful than the user, and, like, so it just kept going. Mm-hmm. Like, one of those things. Which is an interesting idea. I just don't, like... Anubis that much yeah. uh but so yeah like this he's able to like he he really understands her stand too and he's able to use it i love she's cleverly. like cleverly just like here and she's like oh fuck and she's like holding it she's yeah like, the, oh, the panel shit. the panel of yashu i'm probably gonna make that put put that in the uh thumbnail where she, you know like she, mitzvah drops an arrow in yasha pointing towards yashu's chest mm-hmm. ah, yashu's chest and it like launches her back yeah that face of like oh no uh-huh. <laughs> but then she gets like launched back this is like the it just her crashing through shit like <laughs> <laughs> this this is such a cool stand i love awaking awaken three leaves yes or waking three leaves but also here's my like point of contention so it was called awaking three leaves and i thought she said unless i'm like fucking hallucinating that she could only produce three at a time there's literally a panel where she drops four there is literally a panel where she drops four well we'll get there when we get there yeah it's pretty late yes there's literally four in her hands right there and unless that's like the input to be the image of her dropping it like it making progressing i thought down. that but like i honestly i examined this it, panel thoroughly like, like they the, don't look like they're like well, no, when you see something in motion generally it like makes sense like that but or they'll well a rocky will like have it kind of translucent to show that it's like transferring to one state to the other but cause, no because it only shows it to, uh, i think it's supposed to be it falling because there's the um the arrows fall and then it shows like each one on a test tube one on like the petri dish and that's basically i'm pretty sure that's supposed to be that's two. Uh, whatever okay including the one in yasha's arms because i'm not sure like exactly how we how she she just has to recall them or they disappear but... yeah that's another thing i was curious about we don't at least i don't recall her like does she need to like reabsorb them or do, like does okay. she need to touch them or do they fade away and yeah i don't know but so she gets like launched into like a like a like a bunch of it's like a display like they've got a bunch of like these glass it's glass displays that have like t- test tube you know typical like laboratory like stuff mm. you, you would expect when you think of that there's a lot of like test animals as well like we What's see animals yeah we see like mice and stuff okay i'm trying to find the panel but but uh we yeah so she, she seems food. to just have gone into like a supply closet oh, oh Be- or like the um sample sample closet yeah because cause... later on um so now that Wu is controlling midst of his body, she just has glass in her, which is like hurts. Yeah, Yasha gets fucked up in this chapter. <laughs> well, also, like the the test tubes and the petri have like labels of diseases and and like sicknesses. Yeah, so <laughs> I I think this is just a very clever chapter how it's set up because it's like it totally everything makes sense like that. Wu or Wu would have all of these diseases and stuff because he would have been tex- testing every single way that the raw caca could c- uh, cure illness but she's like like but basically when she had it in there i don't know we'll, we'll get through we'll, we'll get to the test tubes and everything but like so one thing i love is I he about. he literally i love this that is image. in her mouth and she, yeah we go back to that chapter before. it's hard to talk about this chapter in a podcast because there's just so many really good images out yeah, of it yeah because you get the eye first then you get the whole like his like, mo- like half his face it's, i love that image it's like horrifying like i don't know you see how this stand is really like scary to think about like i thought i'd love about it he he is a like, probably one of the most threatening arc villains yeah. that we've seen in a while unless I can't imagine he would become the main villain. That would just be he's weird. Not. <laughs> but he, for for like a lesser villain, like he's like on the level of a uh, 
like Ringo wrote again and when it comes to like just pure dangerousness yeah how well, he's so clever but he has one true weakness uh, compared to like Duct- any uh, <laughs> duct can tape. we talk about how duct tape is used again to save the day if it worked once you gotta you gotta use it again okay so apparently i know that's like freaking meme from like t-shirts in the early 2000s that duct, duct tape is literally like the strongest thing in the universe but apparently it's like stand repellent <laughs> because uh there's an amazing um an, an amazing scene where she uses it to deflect the two of the leaves that um Mitsubishi throws at her. I'm pretty sure Rocky saw a flex tape ad and just like, we can, I can use this in a, in a stand fight. Probably. <laughs> but okay, look, there's literally seven there's, arrows on this page. There's four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, there there's, is. There's six arrows total on this page. There is, huh? Um, well, unless you had to go back and like, and double check. But yeah, we get to reveal that in these dishes, there's viruses and diseases like samples in them. And I'm like, and he just like, do you feel sick? Do you have a cough? Like you can get pneumonia and and like yeah. you can get so basically she can get hepatitis. Basically, yeah, <laughs> I think uh, it it is just horrifying how reckless this guy is. He's but, so determined to kill these women. He even destroys all the Roka himself. Well, he starts to. Well, so could couldn't Gappy just use his bubbles to take away the hepatitis that would be in? <laughs> Is it, if, is it, like, early soft and wet? Yes. It current soft and wet? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the rules are for him anymore. <laughs> it's, like, it's, like, it's basically Jordan. Like, Can it do this? Like, maybe early part? <laughs> yeah, he, he hits, he killed someone with a shovel that he didn't touch, but... <laughs> he had the um, reflection thing, but now he doesn't. Uh, it's just, like, he could take away aspects, but now he can just kind of use it as a physical and, and, the, or to store stuff. Uh... Yeah, so, okay, sorry, just going back to, like, the flex tape thing. Araki <laughs> totally just saw a flex tape ad and was like, wow, that shit's pretty cool. Because this panel, like, have you ever seen someone so heroically using duct tape? <laughs> Yasha was, like, power flexing when to, like, get this duct tape to, like... When her stand isn't combat efficient, she kind of has to. <laughs> I do. That's true. You kind of got to make do with it. Every time she so, tries to attack with Paisley Park, Paisley Park just gets fucked well, up. This, well, this this panel, I was trying to look at it because she, she takes Paisley Park and I, and I was like trying to figure out like she's as like an x-ray corrected to, to make sure like it got all of them out, right? Oh, okay. Thank you for bringing that up because I was confused why. Yeah, because I was figuring because she still had that thing in her stand or like I mm-hmm. guess she was still she connected to the x-ray. She did it before. Yeah, I think she was still connected to the x-ray or like that's what I, that, that I was. Yeah, I think that totally tracks because we've seen in the past Paisley Park has kind of like a weird database element to it where it yeah. can like store and like tran like kind of go through different which, areas to get information which so I, I would say which i'm wondering yeah. if it can like store like like uses it has in the past of like how insane that is if she like use that to yeah. its fullest. which i yeah i think like this kind of mri scan use of paisley park is so clever and really cool also, I just love the detail, like the sk- the skull too. It's just like yeah, um, Paisley Park is. I love Paisley Park so much. I wish we saw more of her. I was looking at some older panels, and they're uh, just because she's been in it so infrequently. And there's that one panel where they're in Jobin's car, and she's like, it's hard to explain her pose, but she's like leaning back, and her legs are up, and she just looks really, <laughs> really cool and hot. And I like her. Stan, you would fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Her whole, like, face is kind of weird, but I like the face, too. <laughs> put a bag it's on that. It's kind of cool. <laughs> so this was when I started to get really, like, excited, and I was like, holy fuck, are we going to get, like, a fusion between Yasha and Mitsuva? <laughs> no. Because Wu Tomoki starts to, like, disintegrate the Rokaka, and, like, he, he says, I'm going to feed you a hundred Rokaka. <laughs> I, mean, I thought that was just, just a threat, because he was just putting him in shreds, and, like... I but don't he, think it was he enough. definitely was intending to. He was intending to do this. I think more so because he, maybe he thinks the disease is in her to feed her, so it would be like an insanely huge equivalent exchange, or maybe just like an overdose on on the fruit. Maybe. Yeah, I think maybe that just because like he does explain that the rokaka does not work against viruses yeah. because viruses are like living and like everything that was there is like a either a virus or some sort of bacteria y- yeah so I I, think i'm thinking it was really more of a threat works. that there's a potential that you could overdose on too much of it yeah. i want to say or i mean i think he honestly this is just like the scientist in him like doctor i think he was legitimately curious what probably. would happen if you shoved a bunch of rokaka in one person i mean he was what, probably the the main researcher for the fruit now like now well now well he was but yeah now at this point this chapter he was i do love that before he conveniently dies he does give us a huge exposition drop that holly kira joestar or <laughs> is that her full name 
Holly Joestar. Y- ho- yeah? Holly Joestar. Um, <laughs> um, it might be Holly Kier. Uh, whatever. I mean, she- uh, Holly what, what's, Song. What's Kier- what is Kira's last name again? Yoshikage H- in the yeah, original. I think, I think it's it's because that's she got married. That would be her. But he's Joestar in this, isn't he? He's Kira Joestar. Is he Kira Joestar? It's been so long since I've, they mentioned anything about Kira. <laughs> this is embarrassing. Uh, all right. It's been so long since they mentioned anything about it's, him, man. It's true. They just say Kira. It's also, much. like, in I, real time. It's, I remember it's J- been... Jofume Kujo more, though, than I remember that. Um, but, okay, so what I was saying, uh, Kira... What was I saying? Oh, uh, Holly is revealed to yeah, be Holly the, is revealed to be the person that created the lab. Yeah, the lab, and she researched... The Ro- it's pretty much obvious that she researched Rokaka. Because, um, so... And you're basically made the conclusion that she, the brain, the brain thing is from an equivalent exchange. Yeah, which it was pretty much like all but confirmed. It was basically, it was heavily, heavily assumed. Okay, so yeah, her name is Holly Joestar Kira. Okay. So like, it's hyphenate last name. And also she is fat as fuck. I mean, look <laughs> at her. I love Holly so much. And she is the main villain, by no. the way. Uh, <laughs> so uh, I really, I really kind of got excited though, because I was like, fuck like yasho death has been teased a few times <laughs> and i really thought we were gonna get because mitsuba you definitely like i don't know i feel like mitsuba is more gonna be more than just like a one-off character I've, I'm, I'm pretty sure she's part of the crew now i, I had the feeling her stand's too cool and interesting to like it really it, it really well i mean i would have said the same thing about uh uh the joshu uh, no joshu is boring uh <laughs> the girl the maid um, oh yeah Mora. i don't know born, born this way is like highway star where i think it could be used for like one or two more occasions but like after that like i yeah. can't see it being like kind of op once you get a d i guess so i just love the vi- the image of like the biker and the, I, the image is bike. i think it's a cool stand like highway star is a cool stand but like it, it's be overpowered if it was part of the team mm-hmm. that's, that's true it, it, you know, highway star would be extremely overpowered that's what he, so if they used it like consistently yeah uh so then yeah, he does the whole threat where he's like, I'm gonna feed you a million Rokokos. And I was like, <gasps> and then the bubbles. Then we see some bubbles, and I was like, God damn it, JSK, it took you fucking long there's enough. A, there's a really awesome image of, of Gappy with soft and wet that I love. Yes, okay, so there are actually some really good. Uh, he actually looks a lot like Kira in this picture. Yeah. Um, which is interesting. But so, yeah, the, we cool, soft and wet. We're, we, we did it, fam. He he the, infused it with medical grade cement. Well, the ex boyfriend came through and she and told didn't fuck with them. She he legit was straight up oh, with her. Oh shit! Her, I forgot all about say, him. Yeah, saying that. Oh yeah, they're she's upstairs. He got she, she kind of yeah. wants to help up there. Yeah, so he <laughs> he is a bro. So yeah, he is he is not an enemy as of now that we know. He seems to be this is like going along with her. Maybe he's a <laughs> side character to just go like and they had a really fabulous. I'm like kind of mad that he wasn't in this because I forgot all about him and I was. Uh, I had been really hyped for this chapter. Well, they still have to exit the hospital, Jim. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, he he went through and like, got Gabby picked up cement conveniently, or medical cement. With medical grade cement, yeah. Is that, or, that, wait, is that really a thing? Medical, your medical cement is, it is definitely a thing. And he, what he said, um, where it can, <laughs> I was you, really... you like, they fill in teeth. Okay. They do fillings in Shh, Wait, 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 hospitals? hold on, wait, no. It is a re- it is a type of reinforced cement. They use it for filling chipped bones in joints or holes from cavities. <laughs> okay. So yeah, it, I, it is hospital, a thing. It's no. Weird, it's weird hospital doing cavities cuz I guess maybe it's a Japan thing. Well, I mean, I think you're just saying what it's used for. It's, but I I've never heard of it before. Not really. Like, cuz I mean, like, it makes sense. I had never I never had a hospital trip in my life. So. Really? Oh, lucky boy. But um you're due for one. <laughs> shut up. But like <laughs> <laughs> I just love like Gavin. I know this medical <laughs> I guess I guess no, he didn't have the memories of because like, he doesn't have the memories. I think Kira was a with a with a doctor on the, like on like a ship, wasn't he? He was, but he was still a doctor. Like yeah, but he had no memory, so maybe I guess he had a little bit of residual memory. No, nah, I would just say that it just could be or convenient joke. It was a convenient joke. Co- co- okay, pl- okay. Um, I, I maybe <laughs> explanation. Maybe the ex boyfriend was like a JoJo explanation that, that only a character would know. Kind of like what <laughs> we had with like Jobin. That whole chapter was like, yeah. his own baby. That was him just knowing all this stuff. Um. Yeah, that, that, like, pretty much any time that there's just, like... Exposition. Um, what's it called? He's the Pet Shop. Pet Shop is just... <laughs> like, I, I've been reading... Well, well, that was just the narrator being the exposition dump, yeah. not, like, it is, like, Iggy, like, why can he do this? And it's, like, narrating, <laughs> oh, he can do this because <laughs> birds have an extra air sac in its lungs. <laughs> yeah, that is, that is kind of, like, a very, like, Joseph thing, too, where Joseph just kind of pulls this, like, random bullshit knowledge. <laughs> like, okay. Uh, I, I've been... 
just a little tangent i've been reading hunter hunter lately and <laughs> there are definitely moments where you can tell that the writer togashi was like super into this weird thing in biology and was like i need to put this in a chapter <laughs> and it feels like the thing that rocky does rocky I... does where he's like oh yeah i, I learned that birds can like not I don't have to breathe underwater watched, if they dive an, hard enough watch an animal planet documentary one day just like oh this is really interesting <laughs> like wow dude birds are pretty fucking cool hawks are especially especially here really cool it is true though i do agree yeah um so he basically hard he hardens um ooh he does ooh. sorry is you too you too <laughs> i used to call him but yeah so basically the plant painter comes in saying uh looks around he's a, i love he's cutting the fruit with like him using doggy style as like a gun almost yeah like, the way that it it's like an aura of like of shooting yeah, he, like, like his, pew, pew, it, it or kinda, maybe it was multiple fingers or just the one i'm not really sure but he's, i'm pretty sure he just does the one it's kind of i mean it, it's open to interpretation but, but basically yasha says like i don't think the branch is here because and so he's like, oh, you're right. And then cuts it all up and destroys everything. Like, how did you know someone who has no knowledge of, you know, being kind of like a, a dickish thing? He's like, oh, because he's mentioning he was looking for it, too. Yeah. And they're like, oh, shit. <laughs> so this was like, this This is the thing that kind of annoyed me. Because early on in the very first issue of this uh, arc, I'm pretty sure that the planet appraiser says, Jobin has the branch, like explicitly. No, I, don't, I don't think he said he had the branch. He's like, I think he's up to something. We need to keep an eye on him. Uh, you might be right. I will double check. So um, I, I'm pretty sure he just said he's suspicious. He's acting weird. Keep an eye on him. He may be involved more than we think into this. Yeah, you might be right. Let me double check. But right um, now. It's really so yeah, so he goes into detail about like you know that there may be a third party like involved with the branch since you know, I guess the drive you. Wu doesn't have it, and it's not in here, so someone else has this branch, and that's all we know. Uh-huh. Which, I'm surprised I didn't come to, cl- and like, you know, like, I didn't keep my eye off of this, or like, you know, I was looking at the branch the entire time, which it means that the Sarugi had made every- everyone see the, uh, the branch, so. Okay, I looked back. All right. So, Josuke was, like, talking about the who lit the fire, and it, uh, Planet Preacher says... Jobin is the culprit. Jobin's the one that lit the orchard on fire. So I guess they, he wasn't. He wasn't saying that he. I, had I that misunderstood. Branch. Yeah, he didn't he just say is, he is a suspect, a, like a suspicious person. He may be involved in this whole thing. So I'm thinking once I guess they have their, if the next chapter is them having like their like I guess situation squat down of like we need to like have suspects and either they'll either say him or that whoever other else is in the um, ambulance mm-hmm. with Wu. Yeah. So that's, that's just my guess. But so they're discussing everything. I mean, you know, I guess what a little bit what to do next and like that the branch is not there. But then we get the reveal of the equipment exchange going off on Mitsuba. Their fucking nose. <laughs> Their nose. But it's really weird looking. It, it's like the skin fell off. But it's like, it's, hey, it reminds me of Cinderella. Kind of. Oh. Uh? Because I remember, I remember Cinderella had like the little like rectangle blocks that came off of like. Oh, I thought you were talking about like the freaking. Like the Disney actual, fairy tale. Oh no, no, the, the actual tale. like Cinderella stand, where like he was like in like, yes. like rectangle pieces. Yes, I remember what you're talking about. <laughs> someone, I mean, in the discussion that someone made a good point. Like, can Salton Wet like transplant someone's nose to her? <laughs> like, can just like take a bubble of someone's nose and just put it on her? And like, can he? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it seems like. But then again, it goes may, old one, maybe new one. Who knows? <laughs> I think the issue with that is like soft and wet. Oh, it's it's really like nebulous of whether his his stand effects like persist after he's because you know like uh, like in the recent episode of jojo or well one of the first ones in the new season um bruno like jonah walks out of bruno's range and then all the zippers disappear yeah. so when but like in part four with josuke when he affects someone it's like that's it like it doesn't matter what the range is between them like once he fixes well, you that's it forever his, his thing was just like he heals you up or fixes you which and I feel like he could take away your eyesight, and until he gave it back, it would, like... It's been... It literally has been the longest, because I'm pretty sure that's, like, chapter one of Jojolian, but I don't recall him, like, if... Did it wear off? Did he explicitly give Jobin his eye... His eye... Or, uh, Joe's... Joshu. Joshu, his eyesight back? I don't know. Who fucking Salt and Wet is, is, is up there with with gold experience of, like, what the fuck kids it actually do. There's a... <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of, uh, nebulousness, but, I mean, it wouldn't be Jojo. If it wasn't for having Convoluted a fucking stands. weird stand that kind of makes stuff up as it goes along, yeah. Uh, so I, I so I guess 
first we were talking about what's going to happen next. There's nothing else we really missed, I don't think. Because that was, like, the gist of it. That was really Because it got sidetracked from the conversation because of, because of her nose. But she's but she has that smile. <laughs> so so she, she had but unless she had the character moment where it's like she's smiling because like, it's just my nose. Where like she like put now she's like instead of being just stuck up, like man, yeah, full of herself. Now she's like caring for her child and like, it's a huge character growth for her. And I'm I'm hoping she joins the team mm-hmm. with her fucking deformed nose. If you're like, do you think Jobin um was gonna notice her nose? <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> I don't think so either. Oh, uh, Joven could not give a shit about his wife. <laughs> Ew, uh, woman, gross. And but like, yeah. So I'm assuming they, you're totally like on on point though. Like that is her whole arc. It was like I'm super vain, blah blah blah. Like it's gonna be so noticeable. Of, like her having this weird nose. But like I'm like I can see Seven getting some weird JoJo fashion of over her nose. Like some, I was just thinking about that. Some weird like, like kind of like, sideways. Like you had those like cloth like. Like, uh, mm-hmm. eye patches that you do, like, something like, over the nose. Yeah. Just, like, over, like, a weird thing that only JoJo would do. Uh, yeah, I was thinking she might do a bandana, too, over her n- mouth. Just, like, in public, maybe? Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, what's it called? Earlier in, in one of the previous issues, I actually just saw it when I was scrolling through, there's a, the baseball player whose jaw gets, like, he has, like, this weird, like, metal, like, Mega Man fucking lower jaw-looking thing. It's really funny, so. I remember, because... Something right because the, the the first like One Piece big villain has like an iron jaw like that like just like a metal like uh-huh. piggy right there, but like it is aesthetic as fuck. But yeah, so I guess very good chapter though. I like I think I like the conclusion. I like all this like this uh, big info drop we got. Yeah, I'm, I think it's pretty safe to assume this is it uh, for this chapter. <laughs> Wu's kind of hardened on the ground, so <laughs> uh, which is horrifying. Yeah, um, but he's also like a bastard, so I guess yeah. so fuck him. I have a great chapter. Love the art. Still great body horror. I think Wu is probably in the top three villains of Part mm-hmm. Eight. I think. Do you put him above uh, Demo or? Uh, no, now? I think oh, this is actually a really hard question because I love Demo and he's got like such a fun appeal with his gross design and him like being like really like uh, flirty with uh, um, what's her name Herrera. Uh, Kato. 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 It's Kato. Yeah, Kato. H- <laughs> There's too many freaking Kato names. Kato is the mom. The yeah. But it remi- that Demo reminded me of Rufus from Street Fighter 4. Just being this really like, mm. a fat, weird fupa, like, man. <laughs> I, he's definitely got, like, such a great, like, disco dad aesthetic yeah. um, with the balding hair. And the glasses. This guy, it, I would, I want to be Wu Tomoki. Like, <laughs> I don't want to be Demo, but I want to be Wu. Because Wu is just, like, he's so cool. <laughs> but I still think Demo got it worse than Wu. Uh, you think so? Because uh, De- but Demo got to die. I know the way Wu he doesn't di- get to die. He's like frozen and sticky. Crushed. Unless, unless he gets crushed in, I guess maybe someone steps on him. But but still, like I don't know. There's a guy who's still like I don't know because the way he gets, he gets the way he dies. Because like I reread the color chapter. Like it's like his final. He gets like like the heels through his head like. And he's still alive, like going there and crawling, literally crawling into the street, and then like, gets his head caved in. I don't, cause Epic. There's, there's, a couple, there's a bunch of guys like that like, got a fate worse than that. Because I'm pretty sure the one guy who just stayed like in the water. I'm pretty sure no, no. 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 I he just one guy who just like, stuck, died. Sucked harder, but I guess he died. Um. Well. Uh. Uh. For, I always forget his name. Dolomiti. Dolomiti. Uh. Blue Hawaii. Yeah, he's still he just lurking. He's, in the lake. He is living the he, worst timeline. He literally eats like frogs oh, and he, algae. He's, he's a weird monster rock man, which I'm kind of curious if they'll explain because they had that. Well, he's no, not, he's he never going to show up again. That one chapter we had where it had like the explanation of like the, the short like, mm-hmm. rewind and it showed like you know the normal rock man and showed him and then it showed the rock animals. So yeah, I'm thinking there's something weird with like a he's like a weird fusion. I don't know. Uh, I guess we'll see. I don't think he'll ever show up again. That's my fan theory. I think we're never going to see him again. <laughs> He's going to be like that, the Hawaii Highway Star where people thought he got written off and they brought him back for like one chapter for, for like an adventure. <laughs> I guess we'll see. Yeah. Um, we never know with JoJo. Yeah. But so I guess predictions then? Unless you want to talk about anything else um, on the chapter that you liked? or No, I think you, you hit the nail on the head. It was just a great chapter. Um, <laughs> Last of 2018. Uh it's funny because I really thought when she ate the fruit, I was like, oh, we're going to get like a cliffhanger, uh, like sort of like, oh, we're going to have to wait till next time for the reveal. Find out. But no, like we it. just see it and like we know like kind of where it's going. Like it's probably going to. Well, it said 10 days left until the new fruit grows. So we're getting to that time crunch. But who knows with Jojo time? We could. 
I wouldn't be surprised if we had a diversion. And the next arc's like a diversion. Kaito. <laughs> just anyone. Like, literally, like, how rad would it be if, like, Carrera just shows up? She's like, hey, look at my Love Love Deluxe. Ex-boyfriend uh, versus Love Love Deluxe. That'd be great. I'll fucking love this that. This weird, like, yeah. ex, ex's adventure. I know, I, know like, I know it's like confirmed that she's an ex of one of those two, but I guess you could have fun with that. Mm-hmm. But... Yeah, there's definitely, like, a past. Yeah. I, yeah, I, I'm... I'm very satisfied because I was like kind of on the I was super hyped for this chapter uh, since the last one because, came out because we still have two people that were in the ambulance we have whoever the boss is of the I guess of the whole the whole like trade thing I guess mm-hmm. and what's it called we have Jobin still the, we have the mom who's still lurking about like we have there's still so much stuff yeah there's a lot of like like rogue elements just kind of like bouncing around and and like when they keep and they drop the word like there's a third party at work or something like when the um when they're talking about like the branch like a third party picked it up so well yeah the whole faction thing is i'm still thinking it's, it's happening so yeah it's gonna be interesting to see because we've seen jobin working with like dolomiti before and like he clearly has a connection but like there's gonna have to be a point where he stands up against them because clearly like him he was like totally at odds with poor tom and like and we still have that whatever that sniper was on yeah. poor tom which could have been an ambulance person could have been the boss of whoever the boss <laughs> so i don't know there's still a lot of stuff with the whole holly like stuff that she has suffered through equivalent exchange and like it can maybe so the only hope is that new rica- ricaca fruit so yeah that's the one thing it's that we didn't quite get an answer to is it possible to fix well, I know we did because no, we can't, can't you, just... you can fix thing. You can fix mistakes made by the Rokaka with Rokaka because that's what um, Mitsuba's whole thing was. She kept going back, yeah, and then um, he kept doing the new procedures. So I guess you can, like theoretically, they could have. But with the new fruit, I, I think it's ca- probably just going to heal her. Yeah, like, and they also kind of destroyed everything. So what if the new Rokaka is like a fucking like stand arrow a requiem? Yeah, like, it, it activates, like, a fucking, like, crazy stand power in Holly when they f- feed it to her and makes her, like, a huge I, villain. I feel like we got Requiem already, though, with, like, the, the corpse parts being the equivalent. Kind of, but... It, or it just evolved your stance, like, axe. But the corpse parts haven't shown up in Part 8 yet, so, in a meaningful way. It would be a cool thing, though, if Holly gets gets healed by a new fruit and they get, then they go after the boss with Holly and she has what would have been her stamp on part three with like the vines and everything. That'd be fucking awesome. And it'd be like they had a plant controlled <laughs> one. That'd be fucking awesome. I would cry. If that that'd happened. be amazing. Like, uh, that just a, that's just a, a really cool a fucking pie in the sky idea. Re- yeah. It'd be really rad though, but we'll that see. would be really rad. So, um, I'm trying to think of any other, so I guess, do you think they're going to go back to that, to the, the house or you think they're going to, still be stuck in the hospital fighting another person i think i think we're done with the hospital because like the the mission was accomplished like we found we didn't find the branch but we destroyed like we stopped the rokaka supply so i'm thinking they'll before they leave they'll visit holly and then we'll get some kind of flashback oh. chapter Ooh, i would love that i think that's, that's, that's a good prediction that's my bet for that next chapter but yeah if, if they're really like they drop this big bomb about holly well i say they they're rocky uh, he drops this big bomb about Holly. Like, I want to see where they go yeah. with that. Like, are we going to get more, f- flesh her out more? I would love, as I said before, I love the flashback chapters. I'm thinking it'll be her interacting with past characters that work at the hospital, or maybe they'll get a tease of, like, the next other mm-hmm. people who work there or with the fruit. Okay, I think we'll get I think we'll get a flashback with her. Just give me more Wu. Like, show me Wu in, in a but, flashback. But I that, love Wu. But she worked on the fruit before Wu even was there, because if Wu was there, she it probably would have oh that's true unless she's a rock person but i don't think that's true i was i could i'm pretty sure if we were there they would have done he would have done the thing of like of like going to her brain and then like stopping it from mm-hmm. and did, did did it really say what she gave up uh like or what she got back or went with the fruit no he just said that she tried it on herself so we had to, so she had to get if, did, he might not have even said that i think i'm well, i'm just Maybe, referring but we have to assume she she wanted to get back something right that's true i didn't think about that so. unless she was just crazy scientist she was like i'm gonna eat this fruit yeah it's fashionable scientists but so any other predictions <laughs> you want to make not really you kind of nailed it um <laughs> your wild things i love 
Joe Jolian. <laughs> this yeah. was a really good chapter. So, yeah, it's been a year of Joe Jolian, and I think it started with Poor Tom, like the, like the introduction of Poor Tom for yeah, the most oh my part, God. and now we're at Wu, which we... Which is the only two real arcs, I want to say, we got for this year. Fuck, yeah. Um, actually, I damn, I forgot. I wanted to say this earlier. This I wanted to make this our Christmas episode. Um, <laughs> what are we going to do with that? Ju- I just wanted to say it's Merry, <laughs> Merry oh, Christmas. Merry Christmas. Um, but I didn't. We got the gift of JoJo. Yes. But uh, So, yeah, we got, we started, I think we started with Poor Tom, or maybe like the middle of Poor Tom. And I'm now, trying to go back. I don't know if we got We got major published. character development with Jobin like and he was he's awesome and then we have Wu, who's probably one of the best side villains we've had in jojo since ring probably since ringo and demo yeah like sorry before we end it i want to find out when that came out which one um ozone baby part one because <laughs> ozone baby go ahead and crack it up uh i'm just really curious because you said like it's a year now and i'm like yeah fuck yeah, Ozone Baby Part 1 came out a year ago. Yeah, so we had Ozone Baby, we had Woo, for, and the, those are two major... Wow, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy to think that a year of time has passed and, like, two stand fights have <laughs> finished. Two, two arcs. And I think there may have been one, fit, like, the the filler chapter names, like, that wasn't, like, a, like the you know, like a Part 1 to 5 chapter. Mm-hmm. So, very, mm-hmm. very, I think very solid year, though, because for... For those two arcs especially? I... You prefer this one or Ozone Baby? I think this one, because the Ozone Baby fight felt a little... Um, I don't know. I just didn't... I didn't like... Everyone felt like they were restricted in what they could do. I mean, I mean, the first was the point more, of that fight, though, wasn't it? I know. <laughs> uh, I really think that, like, f- since... Th- this year has probably been, like, a real upswing for JoJo. Because uh, I... Th- I really hated uh, Blue Hawaii or whatever. It's it's known. <laughs> yeah, it's, I really thought that was like such a. It was. It really felt like the lowest point in like terms of like quality, and it was a fucking five part arc. Like that's half a year almost. That, but then we also had, like the Urban Gorilla. Mm-hmm. That's when we started doing it. Was like the end of the Planet Praiser Urban Gorilla one, which I thought were good. But like right now, like Ozone Baby was such a fun. Urban Gorilla as a character was like nothing. But yeah, I still love that. But he had great design, and like the rock animal tank was really cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think they they stuck around as long as they needed to. Yeah, uh, they had a good introduction to the plant appraiser. Like yes. that was like that was the point of that chapter. Yeah, so for sure, um, it's crazy to think the plant appraiser is, hasn't been around for what more than twenty chapters. Yeah, he's, uh, he's only been, I think it's probably like le- less than twenty chapters. He's like fifteen chapters or so, and he's already like established as like a Joe bro. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's weird. Like it's a really ro- weird. like a dickish like Rohan like Joe Bro. It's so it's so weird. Like reading, obviously fans of the show, you can tell when we started reading. Uh, we started reading for this podcast because um, we started. I'm pretty sure we started at Six, um, sixty three. No, sixty eight was our first actual That's episode, right. so which was the first in yeah. the, the that was a good Urban t- Girl arc. I'm surprised we started at a part one. For, like, I know we did the giant like catch up like spoiler cast for like the first half of part. Yeah, it was it part. was really like serendipitous that we were able to start like which the, I would part still one. love to go back and like you know do some of the older chapters if I like just to see. We could always but do that. I mean, if, if we ever get a high <laughs> enter a hiatus once a part five season, like we have something to do. Mm-hmm. But I also want, I also do want to do like Diesel. I want us to read Diesel, Diesel That'd be so really bad, fun. and I love. <laughs> I will, and I'll like re- do my comic book research of just like why this happened. Cause I know there's a lot of like, actual like talk yeah, about that. There's been a lot of interviews with the the people who wrote it and like the the heads of the depa- or the uh, fucking comic at the time. So there's that there's that JoJo arcade game that announced was a battle royale with part three a to Japan five. Japan exclusive. I'm going to be going to Japan to play it. Sounds terrible. <laughs> Sounds amazing. I fucking hate battle royale so much. <laughs> but JoJo characters and stands in battle royale. <laughs> I'm sure it's garbage, but they're probably just gonna reuse like the Eyes of Heaven, <laughs> uh, like character probably uh, animations. It's only and three to five parts. Like, it's fucking weird, dude. So, um, that sounds miserable. <laughs> All right, I think we should probably end this now. Yes. Um, I'm, I'm gonna cough a little bit. <coughs> I'm sorry. Sam's coughing. That um, was like something we're done the wrong pipe. Um. Uh, so. Um, disgusting. A wonderful, natural part of the human body. <laughs> so, thank you very much for listening. Yes, um, thank you so much. Um, please give us a like. Uh, give us a comment. Uh, tell me what you thought about the chapter. I thought it was pretty rad. Uh, let me know what you thought. 
Yeah. Um, also, don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, please share it with someone. Who share likes- it. Yeah, share it. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I wanted to go on the spiel earlier, but I forgot. So, yeah, we now have an official Twitter account. For Joe Kaka? <laughs> For Joe Kaka. Okay. Uh, it's called Joe Kaka Podcast. You probably put it in, like, the description if you feel I like will. it. I will. All right. Check the description. Could you actually link it to like, the YouTube channel, too, I think? I can, yeah. I'm t- I have the old Twitter account up, and it's just a matter of going back. Yeah. I also want to put this on iTunes. Okay. But that takes a decent amount of work. I'm kind of lazy. That's up to you. Um, I will get it done eventually. You got a holiday break coming up. That's true. I do have a holiday break. <laughs> I will have plenty of time. This week has been so busy for me. Yeah. Uh, Same here. Even like, yeah, for, especially for you. <laughs> even for just getting this out, I was like, fuck. The episode dropped, like, at midnight, and I had to wait to finish work, and then we had to meet up. This is my one day off, luckily, though. Uh, wow. That was so serendipitous, <laughs> too. Uh, so, so thank you. I'm so happy. Like, I wish I could just thank the people that scan this more. Yeah. Like, I, I don't really even they, know who does it. They got it out quicker than the One Punch Man did for this chapter, because I know the Raw was out for an entire 24 hours before it came up for really? One Punch Man. This was out probably, for, like, came, like, at midnight. It was probably, it was probably, um... The 19th in Japan, like, by the time it came out, but still. Yeah. It was still incredibly fast. I was shocked at how quick they got it up. They're so good. I have so much respect for but, those um, guys. But, um, no, thankful, uh, for, you guys are big thanks for Christmas and everything. Thank you for people who actually listen to us. I know we have a couple, of, like, people that actually, like, listen to us, like, on, like, a regular basis, and then she means a, a lot to us. Yeah, we love, we legitimately love when you guys comment. Uh, I... It's surprising we love it. I can't believe that anyone actually listens to this show which is really fun i know it's not like we've got like a fuck ton of audi- people in the audience but we do get like some decent numbers sometimes and sometimes yeah but it like actually means a lot of people actually like listen and it, it's crazy to us yeah, so please just drop us a line uh it, it definitely isn't thanksgiving but tell us what you're thankful for no um yeah we just want to from the from uh joe kakaka we want to wish you a merry christmas yes or thank- happy hanukkah or anything in between or a joyous kwanzaa or Festivus. Or festi- uh, f- Festivus. Frightening Festivus? No, that doesn't act. Just Festivus good. for the rest of us. It's just a good... I have a good Festivus. Uh, yeah, thank you, though. Um, so, we'll see. Hopefully, there's no hiatus next for a you know, new year. But yeah, we'll he, didn't, see. he didn't say there's one, and I'm pretty sure he always does. And I'm shocked, because Haraki hasn't gone on his hiatus yet. Yeah. Haraki always does a, a yearly hiatus, and I think it's normally in December. So, so I'm shocked he hasn't done it yet. I mean, even after hiatus, you still have um, part five and pieces to look forward to when when each arc. Part five and parts. Part five and parts and pieces. Um, but <laughs> acronyms the same. Acronyms, yes. Or uh, the and whatever. I know, I know what you're trying to say, but yeah, that comes out whenever the arcs are done. So whenever Man in the Mirror is going to be done for part five, we'll have an episode for it. Um, we have some. I have. I have a couple ideas in case we have like, a high. If we have an episode to put out, you could be said Diesel and. Mm-hmm. Maybe rereading a couple of. We have the ro- the dust book Rohan. So. We have Rohan, and yeah, I think that's for the most part. All right, thank but, you very much for listening. Though. Yes, thank you so much. We're gonna end it now. Um, enjoy JoJo, love JoJo, breathe JoJo like me. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>